free up smartphone storage space on your own personal cloud storage device. Technology <laughs> consultant Francie Black is here to show us how to do it, and it's this little guy it right here. It is this little guy right here. So, a big problem, obviously, for all of us users of smartphones is available storage space. Take lots of pictures, lots of photos, and uh, videos, and they consume our space. So, what yeah. do you do? Well, there's gosh, probably a thousand options out there or more that you can choose from. And so some of the popular ones are things like cloud storage, okay? So cloud storage is like Google Photos, Prime Photos, Dropbox is a popular one, and those are great and convenient services, but there's some cons to it. So some of the cons are things like privacy. Sure. Okay? So if somebody were to hack into those companies and pull your photos, they could have access to them. Google actually uses your photos for targeting advertising, things like that. Mm -hmm. Um, they also can change their pricing. So you might start paying a low monthly fee and then a year or two down the road or three years down the road, your prices go up. Okay? And the other thing that a lot of people don't realize is that a lot of these companies don't necessarily store your photos and videos at full resolution because they're saving their own storage space. Got it. Okay. And so, so those are, it's very convenient, but those are some of the cons to it. And so an alternative to that is this brand new device by uh, Quilt. It's called the Quilt Shoebox. This is their new one that just came out and it creates your own personal home cloud storage. So you okay. actually connect this to your home router, okay? You plug it in or you can use Wi-Fi. And then you download the app, which I have here, and you go up to the little shoe box in the upper left-hand corner and you say, transfer to shoe box, okay? So pretty easy. <laughs> yeah. And uh, and it will back up all of your photos to this cloud storage and device. how much is it? And this is roughly about, this. the newer one is about $100, 120, and I think the, the uh, original one is about 59 okay? okay, so not too expensive. And um, and it doesn't change fees, it doesn't go up. Right. And it's completely private, so not even Quilt has access to these photos. They're actually stored on your local network on the little device here. So another cool feature of this is that, I'm gonna go down here to settings for just a second. Oh, and you can access those photos anytime, anywhere, via the app, so That's you're not without. That's the of the, the cloud. Where do those photos go? How do you get them? Who, you know, who's got them? Who's and got them? You're right. And, I could talk about a lot of other pitfalls too. Um, but on this particular device, um, with the Quilt shoe box, you can actually back up photos even from other sources, like from your Facebook account, your Twitter account. What's important about that? Do you have any Facebook photos from sure. like five, 10 years ago? Yeah. Okay, and you, maybe you don't have them on your phone anymore, you have nowhere else to get them. You can back those up. You can pull those from like Facebook, Facebook and put them right here onto your Quilt device, okay? okay. And then you can access these photos anytime, anywhere through the app. Okay. A couple more um, features that I want to point out is that this has got a great search mechanism, so you can view by date, you can do view by location, so you can still search all of those across all of those sources. So if they're from 10 years ago and you've pulled in your Facebook and you've backed it up to your quilt, you can search and find by location, date, time, things like that. Makes it so easy. This makes it super easy. Now, a couple of quick points on this. If you have this at your home. One of the disadvantages, okay, is that if you were to have a fire or a flood, okay, this is at your home, so you don't want this to be your only backup, okay? Mm -hmm. So if you want to, you can take off the external device, it's actually separated, you can pull this out, and you can have a backup copy and actually take this off-site. And then you can expand it, you can put in, I don't know if you can see those, all those little ports on the back there, but you can expand your storage and put in more thumb drives, and the storage is actually separate from very the nice. actual um, device. So this is a very unique solution. It's a new product that just came out, and it's a great solution. So there's lots of options. Sure. There's the pros and cons of these. And if you want to learn more about the apps Francie has shown us and this specific device, you can go to WLOS.com.